Yo, a couple of days ago, I made a video about undervolting your PC components. And this guy commented on the video and he said, the reason that companies like Nvidia and AMD do not undervolt their graphics cards from the factory is because the power efficiency in a desktop PC simply doesn't matter to most users, while getting better performance and more stability matters a lot, which to a certain point I can, I can agree. Let's not prance around here and act like nobody cares about power efficiency in your computer components. I mean, I'm just gonna show this here. Electricity costs in the US, which does seem like it's rising. Um, it is $5 higher in Connecticut from last year, $5 higher in New England from last year. Let's check, where is Ohio, my homeland? Everything's different in Ohio, that's all I'm saying. Last year to this year, it's gone up two bucks or something, which is, it doesn't sound like a lot, but that adds up two bucks more to your power bill. And recently there is definitely, if you guys heard of heard about this, there's, there's a power crisis in the EU, the European Union. And uh, there's even this website here that shows the specific uh, prices uh, from day to day so that you can, you know, see how things are going. So it seems like in the past day here on this website, anything that's red is bad. Um, there hasn't really been that much bad uh, and the variation has been pretty marginal from day to day. But there's like a lot of them like go up like 27%, 21%, 20%, 27%. Whereas there's not that many going down by 20%. There's actually none. So that's something to take into account. Yeah, but if we're gonna sit here and we're gonna pretend like this stuff doesn't matter, when the, the RTX 4090 launched, I remember back before it even launched, rumors of it. People were scared it was gonna be 600 watts because the power the power connector on it actually supports 600 watts. But people were still like, holy shit, 450 watts for a stock graphics card is still a lot of power. But I'm gonna compare it to basically like a top end card of a past generation. Um, so the 1080 Ti was rated at 250 watts. 10 series was a very efficient but going to the 4000 series, 450 watts for the top end part is a lot of wattage. When you get to the high end of components, so I would I would agree with the commenter. Most people don't care as much because like you're already paying a lot for your system and you're, you're already paying for the bleeding edge of performance. So most people are more than happy enough to just pay the extra power bill. The only thing that is concerning too is like when you buy a computer, if you get components that are really high wattage, so you have to possibly buy another power supply and a power supply, like a 1000 watt for the higher end parts. Like when I bought my RTX 3080, I had to get a new power supply and I went to a thousand watts. It's like 150 bucks. And that's where things really start to add up, especially if you're, even if you're buying high end components, if they're not very power efficient and suddenly you have to upgrade a lot more than you really want to. The physical power draw isn't the only reason to really worry about this. There's actually other things. So when a component, say uh, 4090, draws a lot of wattage, you end up with people want to build, this is a video by Hardware Canucks talking about a new case. Well, this is a year old now. Like it, it's this small. Let's skip ahead here. When you're talking about this, um, if all the components in this system are too, too power hungry, they produce too much heat and then all of a sudden you get a lot of throttling. So a lot of power efficiency problems in a case like this. You want to have an efficient component and efficient movement of airflow. Um, so having lower wattage components in the first place are better as, as much as things are concerned. That is one of the reasons why I personally got I got rid of my Zotac RTX 3080 and I actually went to a the Asus Tough one um, because when you're using these high-end cards and stuff, well, one, they're expensive, they have big giant coolers on them too. And if you have a card that wants to draw 350 watts or whatever, like the Zotac one, it just, it couldn't keep up with it because it, it's such a hot card. So I actually got a different card. So you guys might know this video, so not all graphics cards are created equal. Not only with the ITX build, you guys might recognize this video from Jay's Two Cents. When he unboxed the 49, he's like, oh my God, these are ginormous cards. Oh my God. Uh, oh my God, what the actual brick. This is what happens when you put the, the wattage of an entire PC into a card. Yeah, you get these cards because they draw so much power to be so ginormous. I think it's it's comical how big the 4090 is. And I think it's already been memed into oblivion here. See here. <laughs> 
this is the the iconic screenshot where the 4090 doesn't fit in a very standard size case. Um, yeah, I think people do worry about power efficiency, at least to some degree. And it's not only because of cooler size, but like AMD just released their new 7000 series GP, uh, CPUs. So the AMD Ryzen 7000 non-X CPUs. These this is actually going to be a really cool launch. And I think people are going to be really excited about it. So they launched them alongside the X3D chips. This is a lineup of all of AMD is offering. But you can see here now AMD is offering, say, a 7900X, but they're also offering a 7900. Um, so these components, one of the big selling points, the 7900X, say, has a 170 watt TDP, while the 7900 non-X has a 65 watt TDP. Like, I know these aren't actually what they're gonna draw, but it's pretty close. It gives you a pretty ballpark measurement. Pretty awesome, okay? Um, especially considering, according to Linus Tech Tips here with reviews on these 7000 series G uh, CPUs and stuff, um, yeah, they're pretty close to the X counterparts. Really cool, actually, for drawing literally a third the power just as fast with within, like, I don't know, 5% of each other. This isn't anything to complain about um, when it comes down to it. They're even just as fast as the the highest end Intel one in a lot of in a lot of cases, thirteen nine hundred K. Most popular CPUs in the world right now, or at least these are Amazon's best sellers. Uh, most of these are very high wattage CPUs. Um, most of these are like 75 watts. All these rise and last gen parts are. I mean, obviously 7th gen isn't selling that well. The power efficiency isn't exactly what's selling these, but I don't think anybody's complaining about them being pretty power efficient CPUs on the top of the selling list here. And they, when they have less power, you can put them into those small form factor cases and stuff like I was talking about earlier. But do you care personally about how power efficient your system is? I feel like it's important to a lot of people because I was mad when I had to upgrade my power supply, for example, and AMD used it in their marketing when they uh, went to tackle the 4090 or whatever when they launched the 7900 XTX, that was one of the big things like, you don't have to upgrade your power supply. It's just 300 watts or 350 watts, um, even though that's still a lot of power. But like, you don't have to upgrade your power supply. You don't have to change anything about it. That was kind of a big deal at the time, in my opinion. Uh, I think a lot of people do care about their power consumption. When you're at the very top end, not as much. You're already super bougie with your components anyways. You just pay extra. Would you undervolt your card to save on power? Not only does power efficiency reduce the amount of wattage that your components are, it makes them run cooler. So you also don't have to run your fans as much, which is something that big plus to me. I don't like the noise. Would you guys undervolt your components or get lower end components, more efficient components so that your computer isn't as loud as well? I think it's a big deal, but you know, it's up to the end user when it comes down to it. So what are your guys' thoughts? I'll see you in the next one. Peace.